Alright, so I'm just going to record back to back because I'm not getting any feedback on videos as well as the fact that I would like to get all this stuff done before my guest comes today. Um, so it's, it's easier to edit when someone's when someone's hanging out with you than it is because you don't know like how much they're going to hang out with you specifically. Um, it's easier to edit than it is to, uh, to make videos because you won't be talking as much when you're editing. Unless you're talking to yourself, and then you're just weird. Uh, we need mining potion, as well as uh, spelunky, so that we can find the ores. And then, basically, rock scalibur. I crafted it so I can do this, <laughs> and it just lets me drop down a bit faster. It's weird because in the new world, I wasn't allowed to use it. It wouldn't let me use any of its attacks. I'm guessing it's just because it is a post. Uh, post wall of flesh weapon that is just like eh like this is bound to wall of flesh you can't use it until you kill wall of flesh by the way just in case you wanted to get the memeiest weapon ever as a as a little boost <laughs> to your sanity or something I don't know um, differentiating between aura calcum and adamantite is gonna be kind of difficult I guess I can go all the way down and just go with the whole like yeah obviously it's gonna be the lowest possible one it's weird that I can't get cryonic ore from mining it. Um, I'm guessing you need titanium, but like, that's still kind of weird. Titanium and Amantite, one of the two. That's still kind of weird that you can't do that. Um, just in general, like, huh. You'd think that it would require just like cobalt or something, since it's supposed to be a pre-mechanical boss fight reward. This is a decent chunk right here. So yeah, we're just gonna mine this stuff up, and then we're gonna go for some crafts. The Great Sand Shark is a post-Plantera mini-boss, so I'm not gonna be able to do that until after I've killed Plantera, which means I'm not gonna be able to do it... I'm not gonna be able to get that weapon that requires the Great Sand Shark uh, scale. I'm not gonna be able to get that until after I've killed the twins, so I'm just gonna go for the twins fight today. It should be fairly simple, just because uh, we have the buffs, and we have the skills to be able to manage to do it. So with those two combined, it should be like you know, easy piece of cake. Uh, and then we can move on to trying to get Plantera going. Plantera is going to be a little difficult. Let me look at the boss log. We obviously have Plantera Calamitous, uh, and then we're supposed to do the moons, which we're going to wait for because they don't really give that much unless they give a specific melee weapon. Like Pumpkin might be good because it gives us Pumpkin Sword. Um, but other than that, I don't think it will give us anything all that great for the mods. And the mods are kind of what we're going for here. Um, what is this? Actually, what is this? I don't know. I can't, I can't break it. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, I don't think I've seen that before, before. at least not in this part of the game. Uh, but yeah, but we're basically just going to be going for that. Um, probably not going to explore the abyss again for a while. We're going to make an astral biome just so that we can get some nice farming going, because it is a nice place to farm. It has some decent drops as well as some decent, you know, just like all sorts of loot and stuff. And, oh wow, we've already made it all the way over here. We should have enough stuff now, so we're going to go back and craft some stuff and probably make upgraded armor. I don't know if it'll be better. If it is better, you'll see me rocking it and I'll talk about it. But yeah, onto the Eye of Cthulhu. The Eye of Cthulhu. The Twins of Cthulhu. I guess. I guess that's what we're going for now. I actually, uh, I found out what that shining ore was in the ice biome and it's uh what is it called uh it's hallowed ore which is a thing i guess uh but obviously we have a whole bunch of hallowed bars we can't make it yet but we can actually we can use these technically because i mined it and it let me mine it uh but i was going there for some cryonic ore uh which apparently oh we didn't we didn't pop our cryonic ore in there but yeah so apparently cryonic ore we can use to make uh, a melee weapon that I may or may not like, which is called the Dark Lake Greatsword. Um, this is recommended for Plantera, just saying. This is a Plantera recommended weapon. So hopefully it'll be pretty good. We'll get rid of this. Uh, we did make the Murderous Majest the, the Majestic Guard, uh, which is just an Adamantite plus Souls of Might. We still have to fight the eyes. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do that with the yo-yo. I'm guessing we'll be able to do that with the yo-yo. Uh, but we also grabbed some adamantite armor, which gives us up to 30 extra defense, as well as more uh, 
damage reduction. So our damage reduction gives us more crit. So we're getting a bunch of crit from this just because we have innate damage reduction, which I don't know if we can see our damage reduction, but our crit is 50% on some weapons, which is uh, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. I did find, uh, because all the Risk of Rain stuff is fixed, I did find a bundle of fireworks, which is this is the thing that I was thinking of when I thought of ATG, because the ATG and the fireworks are kind of like, I don't know, the ATG is accurate, but the fireworks are more Risk of Rain 2-esque. Uh, so it gives you a 1% chance, which is dramatically low, but 1% chance to fire five fireworks that deal 700% damage. They might think this is insane, like that's a lot of damage, but think about it like a 1% crit chance. You have every 100 hits you do, you have a one chance of doing this, and then you get a mega crit. That's literally what this is. Every time you upgrade this, I don't think it gives you a chance increase. I'm pretty sure, no, it does give you a chance increase, but it gives you a 0.5 chance increase. So it's pretty balanced, in my opinion, like this is way more balanced than the ATG. Uh, so it's nice to just have that. Uh, but I did find that, which is nice. But what the bundle of fireworks normally does in uh, Risk of Rain is when you buy a chest, chests cost money, you buy it, it opens, it gives you one item. Um, then when you open a chest, it gives you a whole bunch of fireworks. The fireworks don't deal that much damage, but it does spawn a bunch of fireworks. Um, obviously you can't do that in here because you just open a chest over and over again and you just get infinite fireworks. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is, and I like it. I like it. I approve. After playing on death mode for a little bit, I approve. Um, way better than the ATG for balance sake. I want to go with the eye. And then we're just going to go right into the fights. Hopefully the first fight is the last fight. You know what I mean? Uh, and then we just won't have to deal with it anymore. Because I really don't want to deal with these stupid bosses anymore. And that would just be great. Alright, so we're going to set it to the beginning of night. We're going to kill that guy. And let's look at this weapon. Um, really quick, just beforehand. And I do want to upgrade stuff, so I'm going to upgrade stuff. Um, so I guess it fires out these things. Ooh, they're homing. It fires dark light blades that split on death, and apparently it's homing. It's very slow speed, but godly is pretty good. I mean, 250. And then this bad boy right here is absolute, he's an absolute unit. Like, this guy's massive. Um, it, this is the one that lowers defense every hit. So that could be good if we have to happen to get in the right range probably good for uh the worm and that's why it was locked behind fighting the worm um but yeah so we're gonna see how good the twins go and if they don't go that well it sucks and i suck and we'll just keep doing it until we win so i'll uh i'll cut to the point in which we're like about to win and then be like pog we won you know and let you know that it was totally the first try one thing i did forget about is uh we have flasks I never thought to make flasks, because I always forget about them. Because uh, I never play melee, like I usually play stuff that can't use flasks. But flasks, uh, good for melee and rogue. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good because it increases... Well, this this one increases my movement speed by 5% and adds abyssal flames, which is an effect that I don't currently have on my weapons. Um, so my, my attacks are going to do even more DOT, uh, which is very nice. So yeah, let's head into it, and hopefully, get a W. This fight's probably a wash, I'm just gonna start talking now because like, I even checked to see if death mode is on. That's how much of a wash this fight is. Honestly, easy fight. Easy fight. I'd honestly go for some melees, but like, some true melees, but I don't want to throw just because like, I'm ready to be done with these guys. These guys are quite the nuisance. And also, it's almost morning, I just realized, so I might want to go for the true melee. But I don't know how good that's going to go. <laughs> I did not realize that it was almost morning. I thought I reset the time of day. I guess I did not. But I don't know. It might not matter. We killed one. Yeah, we can't do that. All right, this guy's about to go Super Saiyan. He did? He just went Super Saiyan? Does he leave or does he just try to kill us? I think he just tries to kill us. He just tries to kill us. That's good. Because then we can just kill him. Thank goodness. I'm done. I'm not fighting those guys again. I don't care what anyone sells. I'm not fighting them again. They're so bad. I hate it. Alright, now that we got these, we can just throw all this stuff back in here. We can make uh, the Biome Blade. Which we can't make because we don't have pixie dust. We can buy some pixie dust. 
Ah, uh, the fresh smell of freaking stupid stink bugs, dude. Biome blade? We got it? What else needs all three of these? Um, that takes way too long. This, we could get. We'd need, uh, we'd need some cursed flames. Or ichor. Honestly, I can grab that really quick. Uh, phoenix blade? I don't think we have the breaker blade. Yeah, we don't have breaker blade. Can we make it? We need a wall flush treasure bag. Uh, let me just grab that really quick. Literally willing to do this, by the way. If I can find the treasure bag. Uh, wall of flesh treasure bag. Boom. One platinum? Easy. Uh, that doesn't drop that. That's so interesting. Alright, we want some cursed flames. Put those in there. We need the breaker. And we need a solidifier. Which we can't get, so we need wild flesh bag. <laughs> sucks. We didn't get breaker blade, which sucks even more. So I guess we gotta do that later. That's fine. Uh, what else do we want? I'm just speedrunning this because I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I really don't. Ponage hammer? I'm so done. I want to check out these new weapons and go on to try and fight Plantera. Uh, this takes way too long. That's not something we can fight yet. Um, that's it? That's all we can do? That's really all we can do? Oh, yeah, we can make better angel treads, which is nice. Um, it needs the harpy ring, which we might not be able to make. We cannot make. We need feathers. Let's grab feathers. I literally love the ability to just say, I need this, I'm gonna go grab it really quick, and then just go grab it, instead of having to go fight, like, 150 harpies just to get it. It's it's so convenient. It's so good. Alright. Plop these guys in here. We need the harpy. Harpy ring needs uh, a sky melt. I was like, what does it need? That's so weird. Uh, and these are used for the angel treads, which we should be able to get, but I'll check and make sure we can make a lava lasers, or if we have one. We need a lava charm, as well as obsidian water walking. Uh, we need water walking boots, which we cannot yet make because we need leather. Dude, I am, I am literally ready to be done with these. <laughs> water walking, obsidian, waders, lava waders, uh, angel treads. Angel Treads, boom, we have better boots now. They're quick, but not best. Seraphim is the next thing we can make. Uh, that requires uh, boss fight, which we have not done yet. But this is good, it gives increased acceleration, uh, increased flight time, mobility on ice, water with lava walking, immunity to fire, uh, immunity to lava, which is very nice. Very, very nice. We're gonna upgrade this just so that it has the good enchants on it. So it gives us that good damage. Damage, I said? Damage resistance is also good. Because <clears throat> damage resistance will give us crit. Like 1% damage reduction gives us 50, like 0.5% uh, crit, which is very nice. With this current armor, at least. Uh, anything else that we can make? I don't think so. Uh, we can make the pickaxe axe, which is good. We need one of those. Good to have that now, and it's light. Very nice. Uh, what else can we make? Nothing, right? Nothing for us. This requires uh, shroomium. We could make this. Blood orange. Blood orange root is so hard to get. I'll try and get it, but it's basically just a waiting game, honestly, until we can get that. Uh, that'll just increase our max life after we've hit the current cap. Um, but yeah, these are the two weapons we got. So we got Ponage Hammer, which might be a little bit annoying to listen to. Uh, it throws a heavy gravity affected hammer that creates a loud blast of sound. Um, when it hits something, there's a 20% chance for the hammer to hone in on a target. Homing hammers summon an additional spectral hammer on hit and are guaranteed to land crit. Wow. Um, Biome blade, obviously. Normal weapon, but then we use it. But then we don't throw it on the ground because we're dumb. Um, but then we use it. 
And we've got the effects of probably the previous Bioblade, all of the previous effects, I would say, because it is pure clarity. So we do want to get uh, probably sand and uh, ice, because sand and ice were really nice. Lol. Um, sand was nice for really close, and ice was really good for uh, just like general comboing, honestly. We are going to obviously want to make that legendary. We should make it legendary now before we get the enchants. It's nice to have some yellow legendary weapons, because that means we're like, we're getting there in the, uh, in the range. I think Godly's best on this right now. I don't know if we're allowed to get size ups. I don't think we got a single size up there, so Godly's probably the best. But we're going to say goodbye to the Caustic Edge for now. Just because we need Chlorophyte to be able to upgrade it, which we can do. We could actually upgrade this. Um, the real question is, do we want to upgrade it before we fight uh, Plantera? Probably not. What does it do? Homing Blazing Blades gives the player the Tyrant's Fury buff on enemy hits. This buff increases melee damage by 30% and crit chance by 10%. What the heck? That's insane. 30%? It do does go from a 278 to a 119, which is kind of sad, but uh, that's that's still pretty busted to have a 30% damage buff, which I'm guessing lasts a little while so that you can switch to another weapon. Uh, so yeah, I think what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going and fighting Plantera as soon as we make an arena. I might honestly be able to use this for Plantera just because he's such a close range fight. I made this cute little minecart, by the way. Just because it's easier than running all the way there. Um, but yeah. We're going to go fight Plantera. As soon as we can find a bulb, we'll make an arena around it. And then with that arena, I just made up this little thing so that I could have a higher chance of finding a some more life fruit. Just because life fruit... It's kind of tough to come by sometimes. Just because of how much you have to wait for it to spawn. Um... And, it, you know, we could just grow it, so if we, can, if we can grow it, why not? Why not grow it if we can? Hey, look, more life fruit. So yeah, let's get a Plantera Arena going and see how difficult the fight is on first attempt. And if it's too difficult, we'll obviously do some more prep, but I think we've done enough prep. Like, I don't know if we can really get much better prep than this. I don't know how good Hallowed Armor is. I'll check it out but I doubt it'll be better than Adamantium because Adamantite gives us gives us that sweet, sweet damage reduction. And I'm fairly certain that, yeah, we can get Chlorophyte, but I don't know if Chlorophyte's good for us because it's more of a ranger armor, I think. Yeah, oh, it can go with turtles, so we can make turtle armor, which could be very nice. Uh, right here, so but now we got max health, very nice current max life. We need five more, I think, to make the blood orange one, but we also need a root, which is difficult to find because they just they're just RNG spawns. But yeah, so we're going to we're going to head out, scout the jungle up a little bit and see what we can't get. And uh, we'll see if the turtle armor is worth grabbing or not. I think it might be, but who knows? Who actually knows if it is or not? If it's not, we'll just stick with the adamantite because 30 bonus defense is really nice. That gets us over 100. Um, and doing that before Moonlord is really good. Like, honestly, really good. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go, let's go get a Plantera Bolt. Alright, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Uh, Biome Blade got an upgrade. So we have new biomes. So obviously we got, uh, Astral Biome, Abyss, um, uh, the the hallowed and then i think there's one more i don't know if there's one more but the other ones did get upgrades so obviously we still have the ice biome which got like these particle effects added to it which is nice i wanted that uh this is the hallowed biome it makes you spin a whole bunch kind of like a normal flail in 1.4 and then when you let go of it it shoots out the sword in a nice arc uh, it does a decent amount of damage. It's not amazing, but this bad boy right here does a decent amount. And obviously the third hit of the combo does tons. But this thing attacks so fast now, it's crazy. Um, so I'm going to go grab the water one, see how I like it. But I'm probably going to go with Desert or maybe Astral Biome, because Astral is honestly like pretty cool. I It, it looks pretty cool on the wiki. 
because I haven't tested it. I did put the Astro Biome right here, just because Astro Biome boys. Um, if I remember correctly, the, the one that's in your primary is the one that you keep. So we're going to try and keep that one. Uh, we're going to... We're going to test it out. Okay, so we hold our sword out. It's charging up. And then we let go. Oh, you can hear it. Okay. It's a bit of a charge attack. And if you let go too early, I'm guessing it just does a bit less damage. That's interesting. But it does, like... Uh, it doesn't do that many damage per hit. Oh, but it does the... If you hit the ground or something? I don't know what's up with this. It does that, which is interesting. I saw that in the thing, and I was like, man, that looks so cool. I guess it's not that great, just because... Okay, so whatever whatever's in your primary is the one that gets removed. So we gotta keep that in mind, because I do want to keep the ice biome. Uh, I'll let you know how much damage this does, cause, but it doesn't do, like, it doesn't do very much. Like, look, look, look at that. Oh, I guess it does a thousand damage. Never mind. We're fine. <laughs> but it won't clear projectiles or anything, so it doesn't seem that amazing. And it also takes forever to wind up because you hit stage one and then you hit stage two and then you have to hit stage three before you can let go of it and it does anything. So like stage two is right now. Oh, it's stage two, you can let go. Yeah, it just, you know, it looks kind of interesting, but not really my cup of tea. I'll see if the abyss one, which is kind of like water, water bender mode. I'll see if that seems good, but if not, we'll just head on to the next crazy, uh, crazy adventure, which would be Plantera, which the arena, I'm almost done with the arena. I just have to do a few more things to it. I wanted to get the Biome Blade done first, though, obviously, just so that we have a weapon that actually works instead of just lamity lameness. The thing doesn't seem to hit very much. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. Um, but obviously trying to get the Biome Blade to grab ice when you have, uh, <laughs> alright, so we have ice, when you have the, wait, so, I'm confused, hold on, I'm so confused as to which one gets removed, powers and surrounding biome, okay, so we have Biting Embrace in our primary, let's put it in our secondary, and then switch over, now we have this, and we have that. Why does it only ever have... <laughs> I hate this game. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out and then we'll uh, we'll go to the boss. I'll probably go with uh, Biting Embrace and whichever one the Waterbender is. Alright, so basically, uh, the, <laughs> the Waterbender Biome Blade is... I mean, it's cool, but it's also not great because it just shoots downwards. Uh, the whole point is basically so that it then hits the ground and proceeds to create this nice tidal wave that goes across the ground. When it's in the water, it's really busted. So it's obviously meant to clear up the abyss. Uh, but if we're not using it in the abyss, it's pretty bad. Just saying. Or in any water area, it's pretty bad. So this is the kind of arena that we got. Now, I like this arena design because um, Plantera likes to go at you really fast. So you can just take fall damage to your advantage and then go up through the middle and if you need to go across you have the platforms to go across but you're just kind of going up and down a whole bunch and you also have the uh platforms i might remove this middle platform right here just because it will get in the way a little bit just because we want to have maximum flight distance um so then we can also like shoot our grappling hook up to get that nice little momentum change and then we switch back down we're dropping we're dropping we're dropping we're going back up we're going back down, and it's just like a rinse and repeat. It's not that crazy of an idea. Um, it's just the crazy thing is trying to be able to still dodge Plantera during it, because Plantera gets really angry at the end. So we're going to head on into the Plantera fight. This might be a little bit longer of an episode. Depends on if we win Plantera or not, because if we lose, I think we'll just cut it here. Like, honestly, it's been long enough of an episode. But we are going to go with the Plantera fight, see if we can't win. We have a bulb just to our right somewhere, right here. So we are going to grab this in a second. But first, um, a word from our sponsor. Uh, I just want to make sure I have everything good. Uh, we have Chlorophyte armor. I could get Turtle armor. I'm not entirely sure if Turtle armor would be better. Uh, this stuff gives us the summon, which I don't think is great. I think I'm going to switch armors. I'm going to go find a better armor and switch to it, and then uh, and then we'll fight this boss. 